All right, so at this point, I put together uh, all the content that I needed for my page. Uh, I set up the page elements, all the HTML5, the basic uh, document structure. I think at this point, I'm ready to start doing some styling for my page. So um, before I jump into adding any CSS, uh, my own CSS in here, I, I want to start with a CSS reset. And uh, when you look into CSS resets, especially for HTML5, you, you got to kind of use something new. You got to use an HTML5 CSS reset. And the one that I found that I like, um, a lot of good ones out there, including the, the Eric Myers is one of the most popular ones. But my complaint with some of them is that they reset everything. Um, like, like they'll make like the H1 header it'll reset it to be like the same size as my paragraph text like everything be 16 pixels and al although it's useful it kind of like you're basically stripping away any default style and making you know you the author reapply it explicitly uh, I think it's a, sometimes a little bit too much and it adds effort to me so um, there is a cool new CSS reset that's pretty popular and it's called normalize.css and oh look at that I didn't even see that it comes up in a CDS through a CDN but let me just show you normalize CSS uh, well it kind of speaks right to what I'm saying over here is that um, it's a bit too other CSS resets are a bit too extreme resetting everything for me and this one uh, kinda keeps uh, certain styles that are considered uh, useful, right? That's a subjective term. You know, the the author of uh, normalize.css is a subjective view on what's um, useful. Uh, but, but I think that it does some good stuff. Like, you know, and here, if you go to, once you Google it and you go to his, uh, to the uh, demo page at GitHub, um, if you cl click on the demo, this is what it's basically preserving. Like, I like this. I like the fact that the headers are still, uh, they still have some relative sizing differences, you know, and, um, and that certain, you know, if I go down here, you know what? I want a bulleted list or an ordered list to be slightly indented and not necessarily be pushed all the way to the left. I mean, so this this kind of stuff, he's saying useful. I'm saying I agree, so I'm gonna I'm gonna implement it. Uh, just as simple as that. And actually, even more interesting is, I, I have some options here. First, I could take this file. Well, here I'm looking at the demo. I'm just gonna look at the source, and here is his. Uh, URL and if you're using like Chrome or Firefox it'll actually link to it when you click it here it is I click Save and then I could just pop that right into the folder that I have um, where I have my own folder I'll just copy this and here would be one way of doing it right I'm just adding the file directly to mine from a downloaded version but um, because Normalize is a pretty uh, popular one I bet you we could CDN. Let's see if we find it somewhere. Um, well, anyway, I'm I'm sure if you dig around, uh, you may be able to find some uh, somebody hosting this thing on a CDN that you could link to directly. Although, depending on what CDN it is, uh, you should be careful, right? I mean, if it's like Google or Microsoft or maybe maybe even jQuery or something, it, you could probably you know, you can feel a little more secure that it's always going to be there. But if someone's just posting it on there, do their private site, um, I don't know. You, you don't know what their, if, you know, today it could be there, tomorrow it could be gone. So if you're going to use the CDN version of it, uh, use it with care um, and just uh, consider the source that you're using it. So, all right, let's see. Normalize is in there. Here's my, my link. Beautiful. Um, actually, Interestingly, you may you may see that the type is missing um, over here. The type text CSS, uh, from what I understand currently, HTML5, they're encouraging you not to use that, just uh, less code. So uh, let's forget it, and we'll just leave it out and keep our code, you know, lean and mean. And here's what the page looks like uh, before 
I implemented this uh, reset and I'm about to refresh it I could tell you one of the most obvious things you'll see is that this border over here that I didn't set that's kind of separating it from the page is gonna get eliminated and that it did and that's fine because um, I am going to end up uh, applying that kind of stuff later on my own so alright CSS reset set time to move on